What do you think is the best thing about this century? If you asked us that question, we're going to have to say robots. Second only to the internet, of course. Most of us can't help but daydream about the day we'll have robots as our servants. Hello, here is your But what if I told you that you're only limiting yourself by imagining robots to replace humans? What if you could have a robotic dog? Sound too far-fetched? Well, you, my friend, are in for a world of surprise and shock as we tell you about the top 10 most amazing robot animals that exist right now. So sit tight and don't go anywhere. First up, we have the Bionicopter, a robotic version of the Dragonfly. We can thank the German company Fasto for the genius behind this one. They captured the real-life thing with dual wings attached to a thin body and a bulbous head. However, when it comes to size, these two couldn't be further apart. Dragonflies in nature are tiny things, but the Bionicopter isn't the same. It is in fact 19 inches long with wings opening up to 27 inches. Moreover, it weighs 175 grams. When it comes to mobility, the engineers have done a good job of mimicking real-life dragonfly movements. The mechanical marvel can fly in in whatever direction you direct it and can even hover. Every day you look at so many ants and mostly consider them irritating. Well, you hated the actual living versions of them, but guess what? We have their robotic versions as well. Number nine on our list are bionic ants. Anyone can make a robotic ant. Well, if you have the experience, you can. That's nothing to gape at. However, Fasto has done something different and it truly deserves our applause. For the first time, the multinational automation company has captured the cooperative behavior among the ants. If you've ever observed ants, you know they stick together. Where there's one, there are ten more right behind it. They work together to haul food and also carry their fallen comrades back to base. Bionic ants allow engineers to imitate the same behaviors. By providing the robots with a set of instructions, you can get them to achieve tasks with mutual cooperation. If you think robotic ants are awesome, wait until you check out these robotic salamanders. The best thing? They're not as slimy as the real ones. Now, who in the world would want to make a robotic version of a salamander? We don't think this particular amphibian has a lot of fans, except for the guys at EPFL, the guys behind the invention. Their engineers studied the amphibian's movements in detail using x-ray videos. EPFL engineers managed to create a robotic version of the animal. It could both walk and swim. And if that wasn't impressive enough for you, we're sure you can appreciate the 3D printed bones and the motorized joints in its construction. With their help, the robot can traverse terrain with no problems. Since we've talked about robotic amphibians, let's talk about robotic reptiles. Snakes. Do you find snakes creepy? Most of us wouldn't want to be near one, but the snake robot here might change your mind. Technicians at Carnegie Mellon University came up with a design which has proven to be quite useful. Scrabble tech editor, uh, only, only a nice one. No, no, no. Only, only the nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> In 2017, the Mexican Red Cross found their hands tied when an earthquake of 7.1 magnitude hit the city. There was no possible way for them to rummage through the rubble to find survivors, but the robotic snake was right by the side. The machine slithered through tight spaces with its slender body and acted as the rescue team's eyes on the mission. The snake did have a camera for a head, so you can rest assured it was more than up for the task. Didn't like the robotic snakes? Let's talk about something cuter, a robotic crab. To combat the strong currents along the Korean peninsula, the people at the Korean Institute of Ocean Science and Technology are absolute geniuses who quickly came up with the Crabster CR200. Weighing around 600 kilograms, the machine helps scientists go where they can't go. It was first unveiled in 2016 and since then has been on numerous underwater missions. Why did they choose a crab? Well, you can't come up with many animals who can both walk on land and underwater swiftly and maneuver their legs to grab things like a crab can. The robotic version has a top speed of one and a half kilometers per hour. Since we're talking about robotic crabs, let's take a big step towards the aquatic life and talk about its robotic version, robotic eels. We talked about a robot snake today and how useful it proved to be. Now, what if we had one underwater? Imagine what we could achieve. Turns out Norwegian company Alume was all in for exploring that avenue. Their guys came up with a robotic eel that might give the robotic snake a run for its money. Scientists have used the eel for underwater exploration and maintenance missions. 
Moreover, they can modify Eel's design to meet their designs by adding sensors. They've also added thrusters to their construction, which granted mobility and maneuverability like no other. Since we're already talking about aquatic life, let's talk about the robotic octopus. A robot octopus? We know what you probably thought of, some big white eight tentacle version, but sadly that's not the case. Fasto came up with Octopus Gripper, which unfortunately has one tentacle only. But it's still cool since it functions like a real octopus arm. With its two rows of suction cups, it can grab almost anything. For heavier objects, it creates a vacuum. Considering that the engineers have been more than successful at copying the real-life tentacles in one arm, maybe the day isn't far where we'll have the eight-tentacle version. Let's move on to something terrestrial and friendly. Man's best friend. Well, the robotic version. Maybe your mom doesn't agree to let you keep a pet dog. So how about you picture the idea of a robotic one? It doesn't require the same care as the real thing, so you're all good. You can thank Boston Dynamics for this one. Though their version doesn't have the same appearance as a natural dog, it's still good enough to play fetch with. It can also open and close doors. Dogs are friendly no matter what, but we can never trust a jellyfish. Why? Getting stung by one isn't pleasant at all. But this one doesn't sting, and it's friendly. And yes, it's a robot. There's nothing as pretty as a jellyfish. And the robot version? Well, that's equally as impressive. People even keep one in aquariums for pure entertainment. However, looks aren't all the invention is good for. It's been proven to be a formidable companion underwater. There aren't many things out there that can go up against a strong current and stand their ground, but this one can. Talking about friendly robots, that is beautiful. How about a loyal animals robotic version, a robotic horse? These students from Shandong University in China turned quite their heads when they came up with Scalf, the four-legged squad support system. In simple words, it's a horse. And you can bet it does everything a horse can. It can run, walk, carry stuff. It can even maintain its balance when you kick it. The machine can carry 120 kilograms on its back. In addition to its weight, hey, you can even hitch a ride on it. Though still in the testing phase, people expect great things from the scalp regarding military and rescue operations. That was all for today's video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it. See you next time.